Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. It is December 5th, 2024. I'm doing a little update. Um, I'm going to, well, I'm going to mention a few things going on. Now, I'm going to do a new series, God willing, on what happened in the Garden of Eden with Eve and Adam, and the resulting sin and consequences of that sin that are felt even till today. And on the community page, I posted a link to... Who are the sons of God in Job 38 and the playlist for the angels that sinned? And if you think Adam, well, if you think Eve was talking to a snake and took a bite out of an apple, uh, well, this series is going to go into that nonsense in depth and dispel it. So... I, like I have mentioned, I'm suspecting this is our last year of deep Bible teaching since we're going to have a chump, chump in office. And he has openly stated that he wants to put Christian Bible teachers to death. And I'm I'm not joking around, by no means. The guy practices Satanism and witchcraft, posing as a, another religion. And uh, yeah, it's not good. I mean, even in his book, he openly mentions that he f had a certain teacher that practices magic and Satanism. And, uh, I mean, seriously. Now, the thing is, everybody thinks that, oh, well, you know, he's the right wing. But you got to realize, when you're talking right wing and left wing, you're talking about the same bird. So, and you need two wings to fly. So, if a open leftist like Harris would have been elected, there are people that would have possibly fought back under certain conditions, like certain laws being passed, or certain groups of people being rounded up. However, with the other supposed wing, they're not going to probably do that. They're going to think, oh, hey, this guy that, how they're uh, this guy that they're ignorant of what he really believes and what he really does, they think this multi-millionaire is actually one of them and on their side, when really he is just, well, let's just put it this way. When you have a star on Hollywood Boulevard, you're one of them, trust me. So... But uh, if he starts rounding up a certain group of people and everybody thinks that he's on their side, well, the supposed right wing, people won't do anything. And after all, he is the daddy of uh, the, uh, what do they call it? The warp uh, for a Star Trek reference speed yeah that operation oh yeah 
But people have a short memory. People don't think. So please watch the uh, Angels That Send series. At least watch it until you realize that the sons of God in Job chapter, I'm sorry, Genesis chapter 6, were not humans. I mean, since when do humans marry women? Human men marry women and they have giants for children. And then God says, oh, I'm going to flood the world and kill them all. But that is what the modern church world would have you believe today. It just doesn't make any sense. But when you understand that, and then you apply that knowledge to what happened in Genesis 3 in the garden, when she's talking to the serpent, and Revelation 12 identifies the old serpent called the devil and Satan, you things start making sense. And I'm going to cover a book called the uh, one, not one, but two. And then you got the seeds. And then you got the book of Genesis. Uh, then you got chapter 3, and then you got verse 15. Yeah, I'm going to do a book by that. And uh, it is some heavy-duty stuff. And when you realize what happened in the garden, and what, at least one of those descendants had to have been on the ark, possibly the wife of Ham. You know, the Bible records that uh, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one. You know, when you make a milkshake, it is made of milk. When you bake a cake, it is made of flour and possibly chocolate and sugar and, you know, whatever. It's not like flour. A milkshake's not similar to milk or follows milk. No, it's made of milk. Not as Cain who was of that wicked one. Now you got a choice. If you say Adam was the father of Cain, well, then Adam is the, Cain, uh, the, the wicked one, isn't he? But if you think somebody else is the wicked one, maybe Cain is not Adam's descendant. And everybody said, oh, well, you know, Genesis 4, it says, and Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bare Cain. Okay. In Luke chapter 3, you can go from Jesus' earthly, alleged earthly lineage, from Joseph all the way back to Adam. Do you know that not one time in the Bible is Cain listed as in Adam's genealogy? People say, well, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, show me. Show me where it says, and Adam begot Cain. Show me. I got a $100 bill. I, I'll give to anybody that can show me where the Bible says, the King James, Adam begat Cain. Show me. I got a $100 bill. No lie. With, with their name on it. But over 30 years ago, I tried to prove that wrong, and I couldn't. I spent three months trying to prove who Cain's daddy was. So, with that in mind, and just remember something, people. According to history, 
the evil ones usually pull the plug financially in the late fall. The communist revolution in Russia was in the fall. I think it was November. You know, this way, in the winter, you can't grow food. Generally, you can't grow food in the winter. Just So if they, in the French Revolution, what they did was the farmers were taking their food from the fields into the city. For example, Paris. The enemy set up roadblocks with armed, uh, I don't know if they were soldiers, but armed groups. And they stopped the, the farmers on the roads going into Paris. Well, it wasn't long before there was a food shortage. People going hungry, of course. And, of course, they blamed the royal family. Oh, you're starving because the king of France. No, that's not true. So, they did the same thing in Russia when under uh, communism when they were trying to do the revolution. Believe it or not, in 1905, there was a attempted revolution by the what they call the Mensheviks. It failed. They learned from their mistakes. And then in 1917, they succeeded. But usually they pull this garbage in the fall. Now think about it. What would happen if they cut off the electricity, natural gas, no heat, no electric, no heating, cut off the food deliveries, they already control the media. You know, they can blame whoever. Oh, North Korea, Iran, uh, Russia, China, whoever. They can blame whatever boogeyman of the month. What would you do if the electric shut off? Let me tell you something, people. If the electric shuts off, guess what happens to the water pipes well most water plants have a week's worth of generator power and diesel to run the plant maybe two weeks but if it was off for a month faucets are going to run dry they're going to be empty what are you going to do call ghostbusters i don't think so what would you do if there's no food deliveries? What are you going to do? People will riot. What would happen if the stock market crashed like 29? Do you know less than 100 years ago the stock market crashed? I think it started on a Thursday. By Monday or Tuesday, people's fortunes were wiped out. Let me tell you something. Money just doesn't disappear. It might have disappeared out of your account, but it just doesn't fly into space to the moon. It goes somewhere. Some people became extremely wealthy when the Depression ended. Common people lost everything. Other people, like I say, became extremely wealthy. So... You know, if the government couldn't pay its bills for whatever reason and there was no food and the welfare and Social Security checks and everything else quit being deposited into the banks, banks shut down, there would be craziness riding in the streets. And guess what? president would call in the United Nation troops to uh, take back the streets and control. Can you imagine the largest cities in the United States? What would happen? I mean, I've, I have seen riots. Miami, 
I think it was like 1980, 81, 82, 83, somewhere around there. I've seen riots. I was in a, uh, I was almost caught up in the riot. That was the that was the day I bought my first gun. Before that, I was considered myself a pacifist. Boy, what an idiot I was! Bought my first gun. Well, guess what, people? If there's riots in the street in all the major cities, uh, for example, New York City in the '70s, late '70s. Power went out. I think it was out for three days. There were riots like crazy. Uh, a certain section of town got the biggest brunt. I think it was Harlem. Yeah, if you know what lives in Harlem. But it spread. It wasn't just Harlem. They, you know, they got in their cars and drove other places and rioted. I mean, if you're going to steal, you don't steal from the poor. You go to the, the rich sections, right? People that have things. Take a brick, throw it through a store window, walking out with TV and Nike sneakers and whatever, you know, come on. So I think we're good at least until next fall. I'm not saying they're going to pull something next fall, but I'm saying they could. So, you know, I'm, I'm just... I'm just pointing this out. I'm not, you know, I'm not a prophet. But I've been, I've been watching them for over 30 years. And I've seen what they've done. Um, there was a guy named Robespierre. He wrote a book on the French Revolution. Yeah. Interesting reading. I know their, I know their plans pretty well. If, well, let me tell you something. Girls, you might not get it, but the guys will. You got a football team. And you got a game plan. And as long as the game plan works and you win every game, you don't change it. I mean, it's stupid. You don't change it. You keep doing the same thing. Well, then when you start, you know, uh, when they find a way to stop your game plan, well, then you come up with something different. But so far, it's always worked. But, uh, yeah. United Nations troops, people. Oh. And they also, Congress, changed the law. Used to be the American... Military could never be used against U.S. citizens. Well, guess what? They changed that. You ever wonder why a few years ago they said, well, you know, uh, we can take all these illegal aliens and foreign nationals and we'll give them U.S. citizenship if they serve in the military of the United States. Is that a coincidence or what? Guess what religion half, one half, 50% of the generals in the United States Army are. They're not Christians. Yeah. So, God willing, I'm going to do what happened in Genesis chapter 3, and I'm not going to hold back. Before, I used to dance around in it. I've covered... All the other doctrines in the Bible, pretty much. All the important stuff I've covered. Uh, the things that I, I'm not sure about, I kind of stay away from. Like gemstones in the, the breastplate. I don't know why the Lord picked certain gemstones to represent certain tribes. I mean, I know he did, but I don't understand the significance of it. And I don't think it's that important for us to know but what happened in the garden and how does it apply today when god said he would put enmity or hatred between the seed of the woman and between the seed of the serpent huh 
you know, it's time to go. It's time to uh, get weaned the baby from the bottle of milk and start feeding a baby so it could become a man and feed it meat. It's time, people. It's time. And I'm going to do it. And it'll probably be a very multi-part series. But I strongly suggest you read the, 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 take a look at the playlist on Who Are the Sons of God of Job 38 and the Angels That Sinned. I'm going to put a link. Watch it. It'll take you a couple hours, but it'll be worth it, unless you already know what happened. And then I'm going to do, once you understand that, what happened in Genesis chapter 3 in the garden will make sense. Prepare, people. Bad times are coming. And I think they picked uh, the chump over the other one so that our people, many of them, would be fooled and will go along. And until they wake up in a FEMA camp, they won't know what hit them. All right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen.